Okay, let me, let me tell you this. I was going to tell you this. The way to become a millionaire, if you could think of how to become a millionaire, you do it by fraud. You don't have to go that far. All you have to do is think of your God-given gift. All of you have the ability to make, you can charge, all of you can do something somebody will pay you $10 to do. I don't care if it's cutting grass, doing their hair, painting a wall, babysitting, uh, taking care of the elderly, teaching, tutoring. Everybody can do something for $10. This is how I got to this place of success. My jokes were $25 a night. I made that for a long time. Whatever you do to make $10, this gift that God has given you at birth, because God never created a soul he didn't give a gift to. All of you have one. All of you have one. I don't care if it's frying chicken. Some of you fry chicken better than anybody else. Bake pie. Do have something. Do whatever it is for $10. After you make the $10, I want you to do it 10 more times. You'll now have $100. After you make $100, whatever you did to make the $100, that $10 idea, I want you to do it 10 more times. You're going to have $1,000. Now, it's going to get a little more difficult, but after you make $1,000, whatever you did to make the $1,000, I want you to do it 10 more times. You now have $10,000. Now, now we got to focus now. Whatever you did to make $10,000 that started off with your $10 idea, what I want you to do is focus. I want you to do it 10 more times. You now have $100,000. Now, this is where it gets very, very difficult. You're going to have to hire some people. You're going to have to pay some people some money. But you take that $100,000 and you reinvest it. And what I want you to do is whatever you did to make the $10 that you did 100 times that turned into $100,000, all I want you to do is take that same idea. Don't change nothing. Do it 10 more times. I got news for you. You have just made a million dollars. And all it was was a $10 idea. You do not have to complicate this thing. You don't need an education to do this. You just need the principles of success. I'm telling you, man, I took these $25 jokes and I turned them into a lifestyle. You can take this God-given gift that he gave you and stop thinking of how to make a million. Just go make $10 and do everything 10 times as hard. Now, it's going to be hard. Understand that. It's going to be very hard. But you ain't got nothing else to do. Because let me tell you something about being not successful. Being not successful, that's really hard too. So you might as well apply yourself to something that has a benefit. I'm telling you, that's how you make a million dollars. Quit tripping. Quit tripping. You have the way God has already given it to you to make $10. All you got to do is do it in multiple. That's all anybody do. That's all. It's just 10 people got on Facebook. Then 10 more people. Then 10 more people. Then 10 million got on. Now, now they, they, they got 100 million people on Facebook. Now, this dude make billions of dollars. It's the same thing. It's, it's what it is. You have it in you. You just got to apply. And you got to believe that it can happen for you. All right. You ain't got to believe me. I'm just trying to... For the time I was 31, here's the best advice I give my teenage friends. It was easy. What can I tell you? It was hard. No, it was easy. I'm a millionaire by 31. Let me tell you how I did it. I got three reasons why I got rich by the time I was 31. Let me give you those. Here's number one. I lived in America. I mean, how lucky can you get? America's easy. That's why everybody wants to come here. People haven't plotted and schemed for 50 years saying if I could just get to Poland, everything would be okay. No. No. The boat people are not desperately trying to get to Vietnam. No. They're not squeezing through the fence to try to get into Mexico. No. Neil Diamond says, looks like everybody's heading for They're all coming to America. Why? Everybody wants to come here by every means possible to get here. Why? Because America's easy. So if you go home with anything, go home with that. Mr. Rohn reminded us that America's easy. He got rich by the time he's 31. America's easy. Bangladesh is hard. Just take that home. 
Here's the average yearly income in Bangladesh, $120. That would be hard. Tell me hard versus easy. So America's easy. Cambodia would be hard. The Khmer Rouge killed two million Cambodians to make communism work. That's hard. America is easy. India would be hard. They got their challenges these days. Tough. America's easy. China would be really hard. Underline really and make a study. It's hard. America's easy. And now in about 90 days, you can have that memorized. Tell me, that's all you need. I got rich for the time I was 31. I lived in America. America's easy. Now here's number two. I found an opportunity. That's all you got to do in America. Search for an opportunity. Take the first one, right? Try it. If that isn't it. Leads to another. One door closes. Another door opens. This is what's exciting about America. It's full of opportunity. A chance to try and then what? Try again and then what? Try again? Never. Never. Run out of opportunity to try. See if you can't better your life and your health and your future and your bank account and your income. Make your fortune here. I lived in America, number one, found an opportunity, number three. Number two, here's number three. I found a teacher. What a grand and glorious, unique thing that was for me at that time in my life. I found a teacher willing to teach me. And his teaching came in two parts. Here's what it was, very simple. Number one, Mr. Rohn, you have evidently messed up between ages 19 and 25. Now, I could understand that, but he didn't leave me there. He said, now, here's the answers on how to change it all the next six years so that the next six years won't be like the last six. What an incredible teacher. Taught me how to have a whole brand new six years. First six, what? I messed up. Second six, what? I got it right. Second six years, I became a millionaire. During that second six years, the government was about the same. I'm telling you. Interest rates were about what? The same. The pay scale was about what? The same. Lord knows my negative realities were the same. Circumstances were about the same. The economy was about the same. The unions and their philosophy was about the same. What was going on around me was about the same. Then how come I got rich that second six years? I was not the same. I changed. <laughs> you say, well, Mr. Owen, if you can do that, can anybody do it? Yes, I invite you on that journey. Anytime you want to. You can stay the same so that the next six years will be like the last six. Take a look at the last six years. And I'm telling you, the next six years of your life is going to be like the last six. Unless, or unless you want to count on this short list that we call not much list. Most everybody's counting on this not much list. What if all of your negative relatives turn positive? What would that do for your future and your fortune? What? Not much. Not much. What if prices came down a little? What will that do for your future? I'm telling you, not much. If the economy gets a little better, what will that do? Not much. Now that the Democrats are in power, what's that going to do for your future? Not uh, much. Not much. We, got, we could get a good debate going here. If the Republicans would have stayed in power, what would that have done? Not much. not much. Hey, we could get a good debate going here. I'm telling you, it's a not much list. If you don't make plans of your own, guess what? You'll probably always fit into someone else's plans. Guess what someone else may have planned for you? <laughs> <laughs> then what's going to make the difference? You're going to have to make the difference. You're going to have to take charge. Now, Mr. Schoff, my teacher gave me a promise, and I want to give you that promise now. Here was the promise I got, and I bring it to you. Here's what my teacher said. If you will change, Mr. Rohn, he said, if you will change, everything will change for you. You don't have to change the government. You don't have to change prices. You don't have to change taxes. Get all that. He said, if you will change, everything will change for you. And the first thing you start changing is what? Your philosophy. You start changing your mind. You start changing how you think. You start picking up new ideas and information. 
gather new knowledge, make better decisions about what's valuable. And I'm telling you, if you'll do that, your whole life will change. Your health will change. Your relationship with your family will change. Your ability to cope with challenges and problems will change. I'm telling you, income, promotions, all of it will change. If you will change, it'll all change. If you won't change, it isn't going to change. You can keep your fingers crossed if you want to and hope they'll straighten it out. You can wish for the wind not to blow quite as severe, but I'm telling you, wishing for the wind to change in your favor, we call naive at best. Don't do this any longer. Wish for a better wind. The key is to wish for the wisdom to set a better sail. Utilize whatever wind that blows to take you wherever you want to go. That is the philosophy I picked up at age 25, and it revolutionized my whole life. And here's what I found. I found it was easy. I got rich by the time I was 31, and it was easy. Now, here's my definition of easy. Got to jot this down. My definition of easy, meaning something I could do. I figure if it's something you can do, it's easy. Now, here's a parenthesis. Parenthesis. I worked hard at it. I found something I could do, which was easy, but I worked hard at it. I got up early and stayed up late, worked hard that six years. But what I did was easy, meaning it was something I could do. You say, well, Mr. Owen, if it was so easy, how come everybody else around you during that six years, how come they didn't get rich? Here's why. It's easy not to. How else would you describe it? That's it. You say, no, no. For all of the rest of them, it was hard for them and it was easy for you. That's not true. You couldn't debate me on that in front of this intelligent audience. But here's the challenge. Let me give it to you in a philosophical phrase. I tend to be a little philosophical. Here it is. The things that are easy to do are also easy not to do. That's the difference between success and failure. So you've got the choice here today of one of two easies. Easy to or what? Easy not to. I can give you in one sentence how I got rich by the time I was 31. Here it is in one sentence. I did not neglect to do the easy things I could do every day for six years. Underline. I did not neglect. That's the key. I found something easy I could do that led to fortune and I did not neglect to do it. Major reason for not having everything you want in America. Major reason for not having more of what you want in America. More health, more money, more power, more influence, more everything. Major reason why you don't get it. Simple answer. Neglect. Neglect. And here's the problem with neglect. It starts as an infection. And if you don't take care of it, it becomes a disease. And here's what else is the problem. One neglect leads to another. Neglect to do wise things with your money, you'll probably neglect to do wise things with your time. Neglect to do wise things with your time, you'll probably neglect to do wise things with your business. One leads to another, leads to another. Pretty soon, neglect has you by the throat, emptying your purse, emptying your heart, emptying all of your chances for equities and power and all the good things. Neglect. What if you should be walking around the block every day for your good health and you don't? I'm telling you, you're on the wrong track. You should do it, you could do it, you don't do it. That's called formula for disaster. All you've got to do is let that and a few other things accumulate for six years, and now you're driving what you don't want to drive, wearing what you don't want to wear, living where you don't want to live, doing what you don't want to do, maybe having become what you really didn't want to become. I'm telling you, that's it. Just neglect along, drift along, and it's got you by the throat. It'll take all your values, leave you with just a little bit of dust in a summer wind, and it'll soon be gone. I hope I said that well. That's it. It's where I found myself at age 25 until my teacher came along and said, Mr. Owen, up till now you've messed up. Let's see if we can't clean that up, change it all. I did. Changed my life. Not just the money, all the rest of the values that came pouring in when I understood that it was me. It was me. So take the easy approach. This stuff's easy to figure out. Getting rich is easy. I teach it to teenagers how to be rich by 40. 35 if you're extra bright this stuff is not difficult i love to teach kids extra bright i'll ask you how you're doing i want you to say better than good and better than most how you doing i know that's right <laughs> and sometimes even better than that right <laughs> 
Earl Nightingale had a saying I like. He said, all of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. Now, I want you to repeat after me, please. We got to recondition our minds first. Let us say together, good things are supposed to happen to me. Yeah, write that down. I want you to say that to yourself every day. See, we live in a world where we believe that bad things are supposed to happen to us. Now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important that we begin to learn how to create wealth. I'm not talking about loving money. See, I believe the lack of money is the root of all evil. People are steal for money. People are killed for money. People go to jail for money. Every time the unemployment goes up, in those areas where the unemployment is high, that's where you have the highest incidence of crime and violence. Whenever the unemployment goes up 1% in our community, 10,000 children and women are battered. One money makes a difference in your life. I never wanted to be rich. All I've ever wanted to do was to be comfortable. How many have ever wanted to be comfortable? Raise your hand. Then I realized in order to be comfortable, you got to be rich. An old friend of mine, Dick Dickens, said, people say money won't make you happy, but everybody want to find out for themselves. <laughs> Rita Davenport said money ain't important, but it's right up there with oxygen. And let me tell you something, fellas, even if you're as homeless as I am, if you got some money, women will find something cute on you. <laughs> he got in love like Denzel, honey. <laughs> money makes a difference. Let me tell you what money does. Number one, it gives you control over your life. Write that down. Number two, it gives you options. Three, it allows you to live a life of contribution, to contribute to things that you feel strongly about. So here's the first step to accumulating wealth. If you expect to do it, write this down. You must be willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow, others won't have. What are the things that others won't do? Number one, make discipline a major force in your life. How many of you know if you'd have been more disciplined, you'd be further along to reach your goals right now? Socrates said the undisciplined life is an insane life. The road to life is straight and narrow because few there be that are willing to discipline themselves. Here's something else that most people won't do. Make it okay to fail. A lot of people, 85% of people allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. Repeat after me, please. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing badly. Yes. See, anything is worth doing is worth doing right as we have been taught if you know how to do it. But if you don't know how to do it, it's worth doing badly until you get it right. Now write this down. You don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. To me, my definition of success is doing what you love to do and find somebody to pay you to do it. <laughs> so what do you love to do? And then explore ways in which you can earn a living doing that. Cooking, writing, painting, working with numbers, working with people. But the other thing that's important, faith to act on whatever your dream is. See, when you make the commitment, I'm going to become wealthy, when you make it important, when you decide I'm going to do it no matter what, life changes for you.
we bloat over like so many toys down by the twelve power soldiers standing by the twelve to add prayer whatever the ember windows some starting telling people as a house we converting what would and enter lot of parts of the city and live and fixable and behind and boeing careful selling breeze or the mightless gaze whatever the harbour blow of the storm they were almost only large object left standing after he ear had cleaning not only where those and power poly and sea wells crushed by the storm housing built to a storm under normal calculation collect their loaf and where of the price low and clean into the next country everything the trial opportunity the storm failure what the damage destroy everything is give way and that strong physically be survive maybe some of remember playing the game of section stone and paper when you were kid you know make a fast and count to there a three put out and flat hand of paper to figure serious or keep the first stone in the game so if can't paper convert a stone and the stone because situation whatever put the best of a strategy was not stick to only thing you try guess your opportunity point would you often turn you first into the think whatever you opportunity